Hi, I'm Joyce, and today I will be introducing you to pause prompts. Here, we are actually able to stop the lesson and have kids have a moment to think and to discuss what they had just seen in this clip. I'll show you just how easy it is to do so. Go to discuss, and we can create a pause prompt. Let's say at 50 seconds, we actually want to do a think pair share activity. So let's write it down. Think, pair, share. What is Corey's stance on discrimination? Okay, it's going to be a timed activity for a minute. Let's go ahead and add the pause prompt and let's test it out. So here we click back to the clip. It stops at 50 seconds and we have a timer that tells us where we're at with that minute. Let's say, for example, the class discussion is going great. We need two more minutes. Let's add the time here. We're at two minutes and 48 seconds. Students are having a great discussion. We're about to close out. We can go ahead and close this entire thing. You can add as many or as few pause prompts within a clip, and we can just do another one. Let's say two, three, same thing, great idea. Now we're going deeper into the speech and we can ask, um, what are the new ideas Corey has introduced to his class by this point? The rigor of the questions can also increase based on what the students are viewing. So that's a great way to also challenge students who may have found the first question to be too easy we can start giving them more at-bats uh, for and more opportunities for rigor throughout this clip. Okay, so just go ahead and add clip, add pause prompt. And that's kind of our, our quick um, tutorial on how pause, prompt, pause prompts work on Classic. Thanks.